Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy CM of Trip Gaming. Today, we're coming at you guys with an amazing Blackwing Extra Link deck. You heard it from here first. Blackwings can Extra Link. Who said Blackwings are dead? No one. And if you did, you don't know anything about Yu Gi Oh, man. Because we got the greatest YouTube of all time here. So, we're going to show you guys greatness. We are all witnesses. So, we're going to get right into the list. We're going to start off with Blackwing Steam the Cloak. You don't even need Needle Fiber to make this card amazing. Because this token effect isn't even hard once per turn. We bring you use we use a token effect three times in a turn easily. Summon sorceress, a few other cards, ma making it have so much access to this card. So you need to play that three up instantly. Also, before we get into the video, shout out to my Patreon. Uh, thank you, bro, who pledged twenty bucks for me to make this video. I told you back wings are not dead. Back wings are amazing. I know most of you doubted me making back wings amazing, but I never doubt the pen god. So learn your lesson. Anyways, we got three steam the cloaks. We got three Blackwing Boar of the Spears. Honestly, the whole deck, the purpose of this deck is just spam the board. I want all five cards I have in my opening hand to spam the board. I don't want to have any dead card. I want five cards as basically pen summoning, but with no scales. I want my whole hand on board. And then with the, there's a lot of, so there's so many good cards in the extra deck right now. With Firewall, Summon Sorceress, Reprodocus that gives you Summon Sorceress for free. Just a free generic Link 3. All the Nightmare free pluses. There are so many good cards in the extra deck that I I thought about it. Wait a second. If I could put five, six, seven monsters on board, I'm pretty sure that's an extra link regardless. So that's how I built this deck. Uh, so it's literally steam, uh, abusing Steam the Cloak's Grave Effect because it's not hard once per turn, just a special summon is. The special summon is once per duel. And then a bunch of cards that just, just, just flood monsters on board and draw cards. Going second, I side into 15 hand traps. I just don't have the hand traps here. So I just side into 15 hand traps going second instead of a lot of the... Uh, cards that just swarm the board so I stop my opponent and then I swarm the board destroy their board with nightmares OTK and then put up an extra link so the deck is amazing uh, but it, there's a pure game plan to it with pendulums you already know the game plan the game plan is very simple the game plan is pen three electrums and see watch your opponent cry and suffer as you destroy them but for here you literally just put your whole hand on the field and just go off from there so steam the cloak is the biggest plus card and then all the black green cards that just hit the field Bore of the Spear, Gale, uh, those are all, I play three of each of them because they're not a hard one to pretend, you can just summon them for free. And then there's also three two ofs, Chris the Crack of Dawn, Harmatin the Dust, and Orochi the Squall. I play each of these at two because they are hard ones per turns, so you can only use uh, one of them per turn. So if you draw one of them, it's a free summon on board. If you happen to draw two of them, it's just an easy discard outlet with the Nightmares. Uh, Ibli because it just helps you enable so many things with uh, the Mermaid. And then those are it for the monsters. So those are all free summons. Uh, there's more than enough monsters you need. Again, you don't need hand traps uh, first or second. I just play them only going second. Because you want going first to be uh, auto win. This deck absolutely obliter obliterates hand traps. Hand traps do not stop this deck. It blitzkrieks through them all easily. The only hand trap that actually stops this deck is cherries. If you cherries the firewall. But even if you cherries a firewall, you're still putting up three nightmares. And you'll be surprised how, how hard three nightmares is to deal with even if they have a even if they can use their extra deck you'll be surprised the only cards bore load but that's whatever because usually you could do three nightmares and try gate even without firewall just not an extra link anyways those are the monsters then we got three engages which are always live in this deck because you got spells everywhere three hornets so link twos soul charge auto win reborn and then three living fossils i think fossil is incredibly underrated especially when you use it to bring out steam the cloak uh it's just amazing it's a great card and it's the best reborn card. Any card that gives you free reborn cards, I'm down for that. Next, we got three Fiend Sanctuary. Not many people play this card, but it just gives you a free token regardless of the situation. Just completely free token. Here's a free token. I know it's not the greatest card, but a lot of these cards do summon themselves for free, just like the Black Wings. It's just another Black Wing that's not a Black Wing name. It's just a free monster on board. And the reason why I love this deck is there's 100 cards like this. I could play a 60 card deck that does the exact same thing. Just 60 cards with five of them hitting the board. So. But I want to cut the 40 just to maximize the draw cards to make sure I draw Steam the Cloak. Because whether you Steam the Cloak, I want to push through as many Steam the Cloaks as possible per turn and engages. Because that's how you really plus. So, and then three Black World one as well. World 1 is insane in this deck. Absolutely insane. You get so many pluses off World 1. Get what you need. Get the Steam the Cloak. Got so many Black Wings out. It, it's insane. In fact, you don't even need your normal summon in this deck. The only thing you really normal summon is Steam the Cloak uh, just to make sure it's on the board as quick as possible. It just links spam. And three desires, three allure, one upstart. Allure is so clutch. Uh, there's so many ways to get the darks out. 
and just a complete consistency absolute as consistent as possible if you draw multiples of anything you discard with the nightmares and this deck is just a going first version of blackwing extra link if you guys like this deck list let me know in the comments i'll happily even make a combo tutorial where i show you guys how to extra link with this deck i know some of you guys will be looking at this oh how's the pen god do it but you know what you gotta have the brains for that man you gotta have the brains for that you can't just be an average scrub thinking you're gonna extra link like i can so that's why I make combo videos for you guys to learn. So let me know in the comments below if you want a uh, video for that. Uh, that is the main deck. Uh, the only uh, difference I'm going to make is just a side deck. I didn't put the side deck here because I just put the hand traps of your preference. 15 of them. Uh, I'd say 12 hand traps actually and 3 red reboot. And just switch them out for consistency cards. Because at the end of the day, going first is an auto win. Going second, even if you go second against Goki, just take the L. And then you're going to draw more hand traps than them. Like you're playing 12, 15 hand traps depending on your preference. It's literally just the exact same matchup. It's Goki versus Goki. This does the exact same thing as Goki, except you don't need the Goki cards. And it's not reliant on Nightmare Goblin. So there's a high chance Firewall Dragon doesn't get banned. And they ban Nightmare Goblin and all the Goki cards. So, oh, my bad boys. It's timed out due to inactivity. So we're just going right back to that. But Firewall Dragon might not get banned. It might not get banned. So if it does get banned, I mean, sorry, if it does not get banned, then Nightmare Goblin's getting banned. So if Nightmare Goblin's getting banned, I don't even know why I built this, by the way. Brick Striker deck over here. I'm going to use it to troll people to show how bad it is. But anyways, where is it? All these decks we got on here. Patreon Black Wings. So, uh, Nightmare Goblin, we don't need it. It's just there. But we don't need it at all for any of these combos. So, if Goblin does get banned and a bunch of Goki cards gets banned, this could be the next Goki. This can be the next Goki because none of these cards here in the main deck is getting banned. Goblin could get banned. And even then, uh, you could easily extra link just since uh, everything could be targeted. That's the only issue. So... For the extra deck, we got Kagari. We got Reprodocus. Uh, we don't play Shizuku. We don't play Shizuku just because uh, you don't need a second turn. And typically, uh, Hornet and Engage are gone. So, Shizuku then becomes useless. It's only good when you happen to draw Hornet. But it doesn't happen very often. So, like it does. But, like, you don't want to... The extra deck so tight. You don't want to play cards you don't need to play. So, one, Kagari, Reprodocus, and some sources. For those of you who don't know what Reprodocus does, it makes Summon Sorceress a generic link three that you can make with anything so you go reprodocus and you point downwards to make it uh, a dino or whatever and then just both dinos make summon sorceress and then bring out any card you want typically targeting a wing beast bringing out steam the cloak and getting more pluses from it steam the cloak we uh I, we use this effects of steam the cloak multiple 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 times in a turn just the token effect it is literally a free token the effect that you summon it from the grave is once per turn but the token is not once per turn. So we use that token three, four, five times a turn. And that's how we extra link. Uh, in order to make the extra link a possible, we play Link Karibo. Link Spider is important in terms of tokens. Uh, Nightmare Mermaid. Nightmare Phoenix. Two Goblins. Nightmare Cerberus. Nightmare Unicorn. All, a lot of these Nightmares are very good going first and second, obviously. Then Trigate, Firewall. Uh, those are the 13 you need to play for the combo. These are the 13 you need to play for the combo to ensure extra link easily. And then for uh, generic, on top of the Nightmares, just generic cards to play. Staple, extra deck cards, Borload, and Ngersu. These are the cards to help you get rid of the extra link. And when you play Hand Traps, if they, if you Hand Trap them, or I might even play Cyber Dragon instead, because this deck destroys the uh, Rogue, you'll be surprised how powerful it is. It's just like a less powerful version of Goki, Black Wings, when you play it like this. So, Borload and uh, Ngersu, the next cards I will play. In that sense, just to make sure you could break the extra link. So, that was the list. I hope you guys like it. Black Wings will never die, bro. Black Wings been an OG deck. They've been around for five, six years now. They are not going to die. They're going to get even more support. When the other new support comes out, I'll show you guys a new list with the Black Wings. And when Needle Fiber comes out, the deck becomes even more broken. Because it then lets you get Steam the Cloak for free. And it uh, leads to so many FDKs. It's unreal. So when that card comes out, this deck will go even more crazy. In fact, I might even... Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to make a video with... Uh, I have a, a video on YGO Pro. Uh, not a video, but a do uh, I have a, a deck on YGO Pro uh, with with uh, Steam the Cloak and Needle Fiber. So let me know if you guys like it. And I'll post it for you guys. Sorry, not YGO Pro. It's Dueling Book. Not YGO Pro. I got lost my thought there. I have a video. On, I have a deck on here where it's just Steam the Cloak and then gears, uh, Steam the Cloak and Needle Fiber and just turboing, uh, turboing out Steam the Cloak and showing how powerful it is. Uh, just using token, token, token non-stop and getting free tokens. It's insane. You spam the board like crazy. 
and it's absolutely necessary to play it at three. And honestly, just, what an amazing deck. When Goki gets a hit, when Pendulum gets hit, I won't be surprised if Blackwing is the best deck. So hope you guys like the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links in the description below. And also, we got a 10k giveaway. Oh. Yo. So yeah, guys, that was the video. I hope you guys liked it. Blackwings will never die. This deck's been around for five, six years. It's absolutely insane. Make sure to leave a like, comment. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you guys liked it. And at 10,000 subscribers, we're going to be releasing a Dark Magician playmat for free for one of you guys. We're going to pick one of you guys at random. Or you know what? Maybe it won't be at random. Maybe I'll pick the one that always always comment, man. Because there's some of you guys that comment. Some hilarious ass comments, man. I die laughing at them all the time. You guys are awesome. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And to be uh, entered in the giveaway. Hope you guys like the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.